Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and welcome back to Pascal's Wager. Um, we have just finished off exploring the first area, Hedgem, and we are on our way now to Anamina, which I guess is the second level of the game, and if I remember correctly, one of the levels that really sort of pick up the pace for the game. So let's depart with our newly uniformed crew being Terence and Viola. Horses disagree. And Amina. Horse bell and whistle. Ring the bell. Ring the horse bell to summon the uh, summon Glenn back to the carriage. All right. Uh, blow the whistle and you can go back to the horse, but at a cost. Broken bronze whistle times one. We don't need it. Uh, and funny enough, Viola, why aren't you wearing your alternate costume? We, you know, made great strides to make sure that uh, you were in it, but uh, she's not a playable control, uh, playable character yet, so maybe that's why. Uh, Alright, fair enough. I'm also not sure why the uh, on-screen buttons are, are there, but whatever. We'll carry on, I suppose. Ah, and I'm already at an altar. Apparently, this is where the Mards see humans as. Oh. Yeah, well, why don't you take me someplace where there aren't monsters? Uh oh. I mean to... It's over. Don't be afraid. No, don't be afraid. We're not the monsters. Dear Lord Courier, please help me save my mom. Uh, okay, sure. If she's already dead, there's nothing we can do. She is alive. There's not much time left. We will bring her back. Where is she? Adamina. I thought that was the name of the town. Oh, she's in Adamina. Anamina, Anamina, Anamina. My God, it's stayed enough times. It's not going to be that simple. <laughs> Thanks, Glenn. All right, so save the mother. That's what we do. What in the world happened here? More questions, though. We were attacked by monsters. They took my mom and put her in a dungeon. She was protected. There is no way for me to escape. I can only hide here. Where's your dad? Yeah, where's your dad? He left us and ran away. So he had the brains. <laughs> Another coward. Or he's a coward. Lord Courier, my mom was wearing a black robe. It's a very beautiful robe. You will recognize her as soon as you see it. Please save her. Please. All those moms in those black robes. All right, then. I guess we have no choice. We're the heroes, after all. all right. Well, since we have an altar here, let's just save here. Um... Maybe we'll start... We have a lot of bone fragments, so let's see if we can't uh, get this up a little bit more.
All right, to level eight and we have some points to attribute then. Uh, hmm. Let's put two in the decks. So intellect boosts my elements, but so does dex. Dexterity seems to be split all the way around. I think I'm going to go with endurance just because it boosts stam stamina. And I know that will be needed. Um, let's actually go back. Strength is only attack. Oh, it does defense as well. I said, I'm not really sure which way to go in order to min-max, but eh, you know what? Whatever. How hard can it be on casual, right? Alright, I didn't think those two monsters would... That was more of a scripted event than anything, so they'll be fine there. Now let's go save your mom. I'm sure it won't be a trap of any kind. This jolly fellow. Whoa. Take that. Hey, it's a woman in a black robe. I wonder if that's mom. She also doesn't notice us, so save her, backstab her, or <laughs> Viola just interrupted the thing that I wanted to do. Well, whatever. It, she is making it the easier. That's not how it's going to go going forward, I believe. You mom? Ow! Please don't hurt them. They're innocent. Um, okay. Q Emerald Akbar. It's a trap. Not a child, I'm an old man. And I am gonna smite you something fierce. Oh, of course, boss battle. Smiley. Who are you? What do you want? I 
Hatter, you interrupted me. You stole my kill. The mask may make you uneasy. I am no one. Yeah, it's fine. Just like you, I am a servant of the church. And I'm so happy about it. Why are you hearing that, Mina? I'm following you. Following the clues of the Colossal's Plague. And you. Your very father predicted that a vicious red-haired witch will lead Adam Mina to his destruction. Uh, it's already there. Are you saying that the Colossus Plague is related to the red-haired witch? Duh. I don't have sufficient evidence yet, but the Hedron's current situation has borne this out. Why do all the disciples here smell like sandals? Someone has found a way to inject a small amount of syndrome into the disciples of Adamina. This, combined with the light of the Colossus, suppresses their growth. Oh, really? Why? Why? Constant migration and harsh environments make the disciples of Adamina sterile and put them on the verge of extinction. They seek to continue their bloodline with the power of the syndromes. But recently, the disciples here seem to be out of control. You mean they're monsters? Came up with this morbid idea. Um, the developers, maybe? The Holy Father. Oh, him. That's what the disciples call him. The Holy Father. The Holy Father. Is he also a disciple of Adamina? Maybe. Several years ago, he wandered to Adamina. He was a stranger just like you. With the help of the Sandros, he came to be known as the Holy Father. How ironic. This miracle has had a strange side effect. It's resulted in a massive increase in male mortality. But this outcome is not necessarily bad for the Holy Father. Have you seen a girl? Have you seen my companion? Or my companion? She has a gun. She's blonde. Yes, but unfortunately, she was chosen as a bride for the Holy Father, just like these women. But she is supposed to be my bride. They will soon get remarried at the Oracle site, and she will give birth to new life for the Holy Father. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. The Oracle site. I repeat everything you say, just for clarification. It's not far from here, but its gate is sealed by some kind of a ritual. You can't get in. Oh, really? Watch me get in. Since we all want to find this holy father, and given the current chaos in Admina, teamwork is our best option. Oh, teamwork. We have no other options right now. One more hand will do no harm. <laughs> Were you making a joke there? <laughs> Uh, okay, so from now on, two characters will be playable during the adventure. Switch. Press up to switch characters. You can only switch characters when you are not in combat. So, yes. Now the Norwood joins the team and will travel with me. And he stole my kill! So, yes, I can switch from one to the other. Oh, Norwood. I am so happy. Uh, so let's pick up what was left here. Rusty chain hook times one. Uh, and yeah, now we have a new character. So if we... Oh, we need to get to an altar first to um, allocate his points. Door. Thank goodness, Terrence. You are alive. It's really stinky. They trap you in here? But I was stopped by some unearthly power. I couldn't get close. This new friend looks quite mysterious. <gasps> what, me? Yeah, another chipped immunis. And a hedgy. Uh, so what do we got here? Uh, let's try 
carry the bone fragments. Nope. Nope. Doesn't like them. There we go. Oh, one won't do, will it? But I only have one of these bones. You know what? He likes the health potion. Let's see if we can get more and then come back. And an altar. Alright, perfect. So yeah, some of the levels when you go through them, they'll open up alternate paths. And if you go through... Ah, right, this is where we started off. Perfect. So let's hit the altar. We're gonna rest. We're gonna rest our weary bones. And let's go back to the altar because now we have a new character that we would need to do stuff with. Uh, uh, attack versus human aid. So yeah, now you can get more stuff that creates more trophies for equip for battle. Uh, do I have anything to make anything? And it doesn't seem like it. Not a problem. Uh, let's continue over here. So yeah, as you can see, um, oops. Allocate our points here. Uh, do we have anything? Everything's already equipped, so nothing as far as the trophies are concerned. We do have another one of these guys, though. So, but unlike the skill points or the attribute points, um, you can only get one at a time. Uh, so, for a more powerful coffin attack. And right trigger to right bumper. Let's start with that one for Norwood for now. I don't know how... I've never got used to the secondary characters. I've always played primarily as Terence, so hopefully I can find some... find out how well I can do the other characters with. So let's head back the way we came, because at least that'll take us right back to the dungeon. I didn't craft any health potions either. All right. <laughs> we'll have to come back to feed Hedgy once we do. Uh, okay, we have some lore here. And everything else is pretty much as you would expect. So let's head on up. already opened. Is this where we... Uh, long 
Press right bumper. On press light attack to charge. Release after charging to throw a more powerful punch. Norwood, Norwood is not good at dodging, but he can block like the Dickens. Uh, light attacks, right bumper, accumulate, grimness, Norwood. Can only fight with the coffin sickle. A shackle. Uh, when his grimness gathers rage and its use, damage caused by coffin shackle is tremendous and is it's not easily interrupted. Uh, sounds good. Take that. So yeah, it looks like Norwood is the tanky character of the bunch. Uh, I forget where to go here for through here. It's not telling us what our current mission objective is. Oh, hi there. Well, that worked well. More bone fragments. Shadow. <laughs> that's his roll, and that's the guard. Okay. Oh, we have another. Come on down. These guys are, they are a pain. But let's see if we can't. It's taken me a while to get used to Norwood's attacks, unfortunately. It's not like you can just right bumper to right trigger easily like you can with Terrence, so I never really get his his attack rhythm down, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm hoping through these series that I can uh, get a little bit better with these secondary characters. Uh, at least until we get to another... Oh. Hi! You're normal. Ah, no one died. But here comes Terrence to save the day. All right, so Norwood's down, and he won't be back up until I get to another altar, which I don't think will be that much further. Let's uh, press along and see. Oh, hey, you look familiar. Lord Courier, are you alive? No, no, no. You have to be dead. I can only see my mom when you are dead. Where's Elmer? Where's she? Where's my mom? Where's Elmer? Where's, where's this other person? Jeez, make up your mind, kid. Calm down. Tell me what happened. Don't lie to me anymore. Or you'll regret it. 
The Holy Father told me that as long as I bring strangers to Edelina and finish the hunt, I can see my mom again. He's lying to you. I haven't seen her since she was taken by the Holy Father. Well, duh. Adamina is getting scarier. I just want to get out of here with my mom as soon as possible. Children are so gullible these days. The hunting. The hunting. Metal Gear. The Holy Father ordered us to catch everyone that passes by Adamina. I knew it wasn't right. And at first, no one was willing to do it. But gradually we got used to it. And now, no one opposes it. Was it the Holy Father who locked you here? It was Elmer and Adamina. She was the kindest to me, besides my mom. Elmer locked me here to protect me from danger. Just like that other cage we freed you from, right? Tell me, how can I find Holy Father? Of course I will tell you, but before I do, Lord Courier, please find Elmer and ask her to let me out. Tell her I am very worried about my mom. But be careful, she has been a little cranky lately. Don't irritate her. I don't know what bad things she might do. You might do all the bad things. Ah, <sighs> so in order to get her out, I have to find someone else and do a favor for them, or... Uh, <laughs> it's never ending, is it? Alright, well, we have a slider to climb, so let's climb it. And then, we can head down this way, but beware that hole. Ow, beware the fire. Got you. Another diary. Yep. And I knew that this was down here. So let's alter up because this will probably be the one we go to the most. Uh, and we will rest. Get Norwood back up to fighting prowess. Uh, and let's hit the altar one more time. I don't. I think there's anything I can do here. Uh, elixir of health. Okay, so we can craft some more. We might as well. Let's craft three for now. We're not going to go head back to that hedgy, but at least we'll have some healing potions for when when we need them, whether it's us or any, any hedgies we find along the way. Now, because we've reset everything, let me be very quiet. Hi there, lady. Hope that didn't hurt. <laughs> Alright, and we don't need to go barring trouble downstairs yet. Let's head out this way. Will be some. I don't want to get too close because we have another fire bomber sort of up that ledge there. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Which trigger is the. Uh, Just wait for this one wandering person to come back. Come, come find me. So I'd rather single them out than... Uh, Not 
not as nice as I'd want it to be, but better than nothing. Oh! There, got her at least. Uh, I know that there's a couple of... Oh, yep, there's that guy right there. Oh, and a lizard guy. Darn. Yeah, I forgot he was on that hill. Don't want to get too close and get him riled up. Let's see if we can backstab here. Nope. Ooh. Looking good, apparently. Oh, not enough. Far from enough. Stop screaming. Soon. The pain will go away soon. Yes, it will. Smeagol. Ah, Lord Greer. I'm helping the mothers to ease their pain. After all, I was one of them. <laughs> sure you were. What are you stirring? You hear the cry of pain in the place of the newborn. Mothers of Edmina, they need this to survive. But it smells... <laughs> Delicious. That's the herb of Edmina. It makes you forget your pain. Recently, there are more moms waiting to deliver without enough herb. It's going to be tough. Now oh, buck up. Lord Korea, can you pick some at me and her for me? Sorry, but I have to keep staring with no stop. The game's code doesn't want me to do anything else. Uh, now, I think in my previous playthrough I accepted this. I don't know if it's easier to... Uh, you know what, let's... Refuse. Do you really think the Holy Father is shedding blessing upon you? The pain of Edomina cannot be healed only with herbs. How dare you be disrespectful to the Holy Father, ignorant Korean. That's right, I disrespect. Blessings from the Holy Father is undoubted. If you want to leave here safely, I advise you do not make trouble. <laughs> Apart from all the trouble that I have been making. Carrying on then. All right, well, there's something over here, so let's pick it up. You had herbs right beside you, lady. It was five feet that away. Well, I'm not giving you your darn herbs. Almost seems like that you can sneak up on her, but I know that there's another. Yep. <laughs> Someone waiting in the wings. Let's see. At least I pulled off the backstab, but ooh, this is gonna hurt. Terrence got the axe this time. Norwood will save you! Roughly rec 
recorded prayer. Uh, nope, I need to be on the other side to open that, unfortunately. Shimmy up that ladder quick, Norwood! throwing knives. Okay, at least I got my throwing knives back. Uh, but I needed to be on the other side for that one. Okay, is there any other place that I can go to? can't go that way. Oh, he was protecting a box. Ah, more chipped Amundus. So, more stuff that I can unlock for the characters. But, I do know that there's... Alright, well there's... Goes in that way. You got some branching paths now, so... It becomes a little bit unclear which way to go. Unless you know the map, and I haven't played this for a while. Uh, ooh, right, rock, rock, ow. Uh, nuts. Alright. Now start. Well, that was effective. If Terrence is up, I could backstab, but let's see if we can't. Nice. All right, let's grab that. Nope. Open from the other side. Wherever that thing is at. I'm gonna guess that can only be opened from the other side as well. Uh, there was another... Hmm. There is an altar nearby, and I think that will be where we want to head to next. I don't necessarily want to backtrack all that much. But there are plenty of enemies. Take that, hag. I get through this way. Nope, on the other side again. There's that altar I was referring to. And another hedgy. So, please like bone fragments. Yes, he does. And one feeding was enough. Awesome. So, we'll take what you have dropped for us. Dominator Crystal. And let's... Hunter. So, yep, we're making some progress here. We are going to rest. Find Ilmar. That's our current objective. Uh, let's hit the altar one more time. I know we have a 
chipped. We have a chip that we want to put somewhere. Maybe we want to make Norwood backstab as well. These things will grow it in time, so let's... Uh, we got two of them. Let's give Norwood backstab. And then go back to Terrence and see, is there anything else that we can pick up for him quickly? We can give him another attack that goes re right trigger to right bumper. I think we'll do that, but I'm going to check uh, what's not. <laughs> Wrong side. Let's go. I just want to see if there's anything else. All the... Greens are done. I can stack some of the ones up for, all right, because that requires a full Immundus to level that up, but I can get the stock. I'm not going to go with that yet. Sanity. Nope, that's all done too. So two more things for Terrence, at least as far as chips are concerned. So let's get the attack. At the very least, it gives us another thing to be offensive with. Um, <laughs> that's our... We can, uh, should probably filter out our quick item bar, but for now, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, I'm not going to rest again. We've already done that. Is there anything that can be... I can make a skull. I think we've already got the Disc of Lights. Yeah, let's make the skull. Craft that. And then head back into our trophies. And see where this is going to be placed right here. So what do I want to do? Crit rate. Uh, I think we're going to change out the disc of blights. So let's do that. And I think we're going to be uh, calling it there, but we're doing well for this level of Pascal's Wager, so once we get back to the next episode, we should hit the ground running. With our good friend Norwood now. If you're enjoying the Pascal's Wager series thus far, let me know by hitting that like button, leaving me a comment, and subscribing to my channel for this and more mobile gaming goodness, because you'll never know what I'll be picking up next. This has been Chin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.